Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Gary. I'm Ransom. I'm Jacob. And I'm Ranger. And come, that's Jojo. Come on, Jojo, you can talk. Oh, he might not be in the camera. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are doing something that we're a little late this year. What are we doing, boys? Uh, throwing a pumpkin up or something. Oh, uh, what am I doing right now, though? Putting Christmas lights like up. That's right. Yes, we're putting up Christmas lights, and we have our cousin, Jacob, and his sister, Camila, is here also. And look at this, ready? We're testing these lights as they're going up. Whoa. Oh, that one works, doesn't it? Yeah. And these lights are magnetic lights, so they'll stick to metal. And uh, you boys, you going to go play right now? Yeah. Hey, Ransom, tell them what we're going to do in just a little bit. We're going to... Get one of those pumpkins and bring us all the way up as high as we, as high as that thing goes, and we're gonna drop it down. All right. So Ransom said we're gonna smash some pumpkins. So we have a lift out here today. You can see we have a lift. We're using it to trim trees on the farm and put up Christmas lights. So come along. We're gonna put up lights and stay tuned because Ransom is gonna drop a pumpkin. Right. I am over here about ready to start putting up our Christmas lights. So, uh, I did this about three years ago. I rented a lift, and this is just a trailer lift. Um, it has a hitch up here where it hooks up to the pickup, and it has hydraulics where you can lift up and go up there high, and I'm gonna be putting up our Christmas lights. So, I am so excited. Christmas is finally here. We already have our tree up on the inside. All that's done, so the only thing left uh, is to get the lights up today. And I also have some trees I need to trim at the back of the place. Every time I pull my tractor through a gate, it gets scratched on the top. And I don't want that. I don't want my tractor to get scratched. So I'm going to be putting up Christmas lights today. And if you guys can hear the piggies, maybe you can't. But they're over here because they see me outside. Hey, Juni, Cooney, I'm trying the video, okay? Listen, listen guys, I'll feed you in just a little bit. You know it's not time yet. You know it's not time, and you, you holler anyway. Aye. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. So that's what we've got going on today. Um, all kinds of stuff on the farm. Later on though, I want to take you guys out to the New Highland Herd Bull Geronimo and see if he's just as gentle now as he was whenever he was in a pen by himself. I want to see whether the cows have made him less gentle, more aggressive, or if he's the same herd bull that we started with. So hopefully he's the same. I'm gonna bring my brush with me though and uh, try to feed him out in the pasture and see if I can still brush on him and, and pet on him because I'll be honest, I'm really excited about how gentle he is. So I love to rent these lifts because super easy to use. All you have to do is hold in the speed that you wanna go and the direction you wanna go And up you go. So it's a little bit cold up here. Luckily I got this hat that a subscriber made me. So I'm wearing it today. Thank you very much for that. But I'll show you getting up the Christmas lights. Let me uh, spin you around. And I am right up here. I did get the fire going over there. so. The house is gonna start warming up, but you can see from up here, it's super easy to uh, move around. I can come up one side, down the other with no big deal. So after the magnetic light goes on, just put in a C9 LED bulb, go on to the next one. There's absolutely no clips or anything like that. It's just a big magnet. The six of the house. So the wind has actually died down enough to where I had to lose the hat, lose the gloves, but I have the lights up all the way up and down and back over here. So the lift is super handy whenever you're up high 
and by high I mean uh, up here to the peak and it's also handy at the front of the house but going around the edges of the house I just like to use the ladder uh, it seems to work pretty good but I'm about ready to move uh, the lift up here up front so I can get this uh, little area right up there it makes it easier to use up there and the boys are way down here they said they went bird hunting so let's check in with them and see if they got any birds Jojo you think they got any birds or you think the birds are safe I'm guessing I'm gonna guess the birds are safe I want to guess the birds are safe I think they're probably safe what do you think let's check all right boys time to show me your birds well, we didn't catch any birds. What? But we saw a lot of birds. Oh, you just went bird watching? No. You went bird hunting? Yeah. Just didn't find any birds? No. We saw birds, but we couldn't we saw, shoot like, them. They were too high. We saw birds. You saw birds, but yeah. you didn't get them? The whole time hey, was like... Hey, what did you bring with you? The, a knife. A butter knife. A butter knife? Yeah. I asked Ransom three times. Did Mama let you take that out of the house? What did you say? Yes. I think, right. I think she must have, because you're pretty confident. I think Jojo wants petted, guys. Can you guys pet him? Yeah. Oh, Jojo loves pettings. All right, Ransom, you ready to drop that pumpkin in a few minutes? Oh, yes! Oh, not quite yet. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm bringing lights all the way around the corner, and as soon as I get to the corner, I'm going to move the lift. We're and when I move the lift, it's, it's go time, okay? Okay. okay. Ah! 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 Oh, ah! oh, no, you dropped it. All right, it didn't bust. All right, you boys ready for this? I mean, it busted a little bit. It busted a little bit? And Marks the spot. X marks the spot. We're gonna to try to drop it right there. We got the lift set up in its new location, mainly to do uh, the rest of these Christmas lights. But why not have fun while you're doing a little bit of work, right, yeah. boys? Phil. All right, Cassie. Do you approve of my antics? Yeah. You do. It's country living. Country living. Ransom's gonna go up with me. I'm gonna hold on to his hand the whole time, okay? Yeah. So it's safe. Jump up there, Ransom. Can you get in the basket? I can. Oh. oh, I don't want to hit my head. Dad, are you sure we won't fall? Huh? Are you sure we won't fall? Nothing's possible. Hey. What did you ask, Ransom? Are we going to fall? <laughs> Let's get over here. Hold on right here by day. All right, now I can hold on to you. All right, you ready to go up? Yes. Say, beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. All right, beam him up. Jacob. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. Bye, Jacob. Hey, don't tell your mom. Okay. Bye, Jacob. No, tell her not to watch this video. <laughs> I'll tell her. Oh, oh, I lost them. Where'd they go? Bye. <laughs> Bye. You're as high as that bird up there. <laughs> Why are you shaking? Oh, Dad, little pumpkin. All right, I think we're as high as we're gonna get. Uh, uh, hi, Jacob. Hi. All right, you guys ready higher? for this? Yeah. All right, ready, Mama? Ready. All right, there's the X. You see the X? Oh, you're hitting the concrete. Yeah. Jacob, come over here. Ready, Ransom? Yeah. Three, Three two, 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 one, one. go! Oh! <laughs> that was cool, Jacob, was it? Oh, yeah. I can eat the seeds. All right, back up, Jacob. <laughs> I can eat the seeds. Three, two, one, go! Oh! Oh! Can I eat the seeds? I think you gotta cook them. <laughs> I tried them before. All right, here they come. Oh, I love the seats. Oh, jeez. Here, put it down. It's got paint all over it. That's why we're not feeding them to the animals. Y'all stuck up there? No. See you next year. So that is our uh, adventures with the pumpkins. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. You have paint in your hair. Are you scared <laughs> of heights now, or are you done with heights? You well, like it? I yes. want to do it again. You want to do it again? <laughs> Me too. I want to go higher. Higher? Well, I think that's as high as we're going today. So now I got to get back to work and finish the Christmas lights. But the boys said they're going to get a wheelbarrow or a wagon. 
A wagon. A wagon and clean up the pumpkins for us? All right. Gonna throw it in the field? Yeah. Can't be that, can you, Cassie? I'm gonna go watch football. Hey, you could finish putting up Christmas lights for me. It looks like there's only room for one person. Oh, okay. Have fun. So I just finished up the front of the house, Christmas lights, on all the high parts up there done, so everything else I can just get with my ladder now. But it's time for me to take a break from Christmas lights and uh, feed some animals. So Cassie, I think, is already back here with the goats and doing some chores. And our niece and nephew, um, Jacob and Camilla, they don't get to come to the farm very often. So I think they're back here playing with animals. So I'll take you back real quick and check in on them. All right, Camilla, show, show Uncle Gary how you play tag with the goats. How do you play tag with the goats, Camilla? Oh, man. If you guys pet on them, they'll like it. You want me to bring you some feed to feed them? Yeah. They'll, re they'll really be... What's it smell like out here? Poop, 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 poop. Camilla, tell me what it smells like. Poo poo. Pew. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just the farm, sister. Look at the ground. Yep, there'd be a little bit of poo there. Uh oh. You wanna put some in there, Camilla? Rowdy likes it. Huh? Here, Uncle Gary, get some. All right, Camilla's gonna feed him. You wanna try it? You wanna try a bite? You wanna try a bite? Yeah, Cassie. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, stinkers! It's Sarah's gonna get Put you. Put it back in there. Here, pour it in there. They dumped it. Go, go, go. Now take a bite of one. It's really good. Camilla, don't listen to Cassie. Look, just a little bite. It's really good. Come on, get it! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Camilla. Is it good? What did Aunt Cassie do to you? Just a little bit. All right. right. Now let's go catch a chicken. Yeah. All right. The they're all chicken. going to town on the food. Oh, chicken. So the kids are going to get out since they're eating. Start eating, start eating. Okay. So we kept the kids out of the big pen because these goats get a little bit too big and a little bit too rowdy for the little kids. So everybody's doing good in here though. Alvin, Alfred, Zena. What are you doing, Zena? Go check on the birds. Looks like Zena's been digging. You trying to find China, Zena? All right, turkeys, ducks, rooster, everybody's doing good. Good job, Zena. You're keeping everybody alive. Oh man, we got Geronimo. Geronimo, what are you doing? This is what I was talking about. He looks a little bit mad right now. Geronimo, what's up, man? Why are you pawing your feet like that? You're not mad, are you? All right, Ransom, what do you got? A chicken. You guys are in here catching chickens now? Yeah. Camilla, are you a farm girl? The chickens are not letting me catch them. Okay, just get Ransom to help you out. No, no, no. I got, I got can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. That's a, that's a chicken, that's a hen. She's gonna be a big hen one day. You guys like chickens, Jacob? Yeah. Camilla, what's that chicken's name? I don't think it has a name, it needs one. What are you gonna name it? It's so crazy. Huh? I don't know. You don't know yet? You like that chicken? Yeah. If your yeah. mama would let you take it home, you wanna take it home? Yeah. You just gotta ask your got mom, one. okay? Got one. You got one, Jacob? Yeah. All right, don't squeeze them too tight. Just kind of easy. That was a pretty one. I like that one. Cool. You guys are awesome. You're doing good. Geronimo, you better now, buddy? You were getting so mad over there. Hang on. I know you're mad because it's eating time, right? I'm just about ready to feed you. But right now I'm filling up the water for the goats. So I always haul my water back in the... Uh, these little recycled uh, water jugs, they work great. 
I don't even know if it's possible. But what I do is I take a couple of these stakes right here and stake the water off. But they like to root it up and make a mess. I know, it's almost time. I'll get your food when I get back. I, th I think Cassie and the kids are gonna feed you though. All right, we got it staked off. So maybe that'll last a day if I'm lucky. Hey, Ellie. Watch out, watch out. I'll get your food. I'll get your food, just a second. Oh, here comes the big guy, I hear him. Hey. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So the question is, is Geronimo still as calm as he has been uh, since I let him out with the ladies? He's been more aggressive towards the other cows for sure, yelling at him and bellering and everything. But I think he's just as gentle when I'm feeding him. Let's find out though. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Geronimo. How are you, baby? All right, let me go to this other side. What do you think, big dog? Huh? You sure are handsome, man. Everybody's bragging about how handsome you are in your bangs. I told them I would brush them out for you. Oh, good job, buddy. So let me take you guys along a little closer. Geronimo is an awesome bull. There are not very many that you can do this with that I've seen. I mean, full grown bulls, there aren't very many that you can do this with. I've seen some people have the younger ones while they're growing up, but he is a dominant herd bull out here with his ladies. And he lets you brush on him. Yeah. I think he kind of likes it. You like it, bud? What do you guys think? I, mean, I did, I got this brush right here. I had a couple of recommendations. People tell me this is the one to use. So that's what I'm going with. And I've asked, had other questions about his hair saying, well, he doesn't have very long shaggy hair. But you can look up here, that's about six to eight inches long. Um, it's good looking shaggy hair and he is registered. So there's zero questions about whether he is a full blood or whether he is partially Highland or mixed. He is uh, registered several generations back. Uh, what do you think, man? You doing all right? Oh, he's got that beautiful, look at that skin down there on his neck. He's just thick. Look how big his horns are. Can't even fit my hand around it. Ellie, you see me brushing Geronimo? Would you let me brush you? Would you let me brush you, girl? Huh? Would you let me brush you? Ellie's one of our, I call her one of our leader cows. She's kind of a leader. No, she don't like, see, she don't like being brushed. Hey. Look, if you smell of it, it's not anything to hurt you. All right, I'll just stick to the boss. Oh, he's gonna come out to your food. He, he ate enough of his. He's like, where's my other ones at? All right. Yeah, and one thing I didn't want to do, since I know Geronimo's tame when he came to me, I didn't want to lose that tameness. So I don't want to not brush Geronimo and let him regress and not be tame. So I'm gonna do whatever I can to, to try to keep him tame. But right now he's 
making his rounds trying to steal food from the girls there's poppy poppy is a really pretty cow she's kind of short i really like her i like poppy's height baby I am getting back here in his little ticklish spot back here. And he is awesome. He's doing awesome. All right. That's probably good enough. He's running low on food. So I think I'm going to leave him alone. So I think that answers my question. Um, Geronimo is just as tame as he was the day I got him, which is good news. He's doing good. All the girls are doing good. But now I got to go feed the rest of the animals. And I got hay to put out and more stuff to do. So I got to hurry. Oh, we found Lulu. Missy and uh, Lulu and May May. Who wants some food? Lulu, you want some food? Lulu. Here, Missy. So I always feed Missy right on the grass. I don't feed her on dirt or on cow piles. So I always make sure and feed her on some grass. And May May likes to come over here and eat with her, so make sure she's got plenty of food. But uh, Missy has came so far from the time she was born while we were in Mississippi to losing her mama to being a little orphan calf. Uh, she is really doing good. You boys playing on the hay? Yeah. You got your friend back here. I'm not even that's, well, that's the best farm cat in the business. I know. That's Susu. I'm back. This is hard. Oh, let's grab my hand. I no, he don't need to grab your hand. Do you want down, Jacob? Yeah. Come here. Just scoot down real slow. And then put your foot You got there, it. You got it. There. there you go. You got it, buddy? Wait. All right. You got to stay over here. Hey, I don't want you to go out here by the cows, okay? All right. I hooked Blackberry up with a little bit of feed down here because as you guys know Blackberry is not the boss of the herd by any means. So... These other cows will run her off, but hopefully she gets to eat that before they get her. But all the Angus are doing good. All eating up. Enjoying dinner. This is one of my favorite favorite views right here whenever all you see is necks. One end to the other. And you can look down their backs, but they're all doing great. And a little update on our calf, Rocky, Rocky Balboa. He is doing good. He is a fighter and he's doing awesome. So all, uh, all seven of the Angus calves are doing good for, for this time of year. May May, my giant little teddy bear, are you enjoying your food too? You look like a giant teddy bear, girl. Look like a big old teddy bear. Yeah. Can you come here? Huh? Okay, I'll leave you alone. You sure are pretty. You and Missy. Geronimo. Don't you think you got enough lady friends over there? Hey. You just need to leave these girls alone.
through. Get out of the way. We just gotta trick him. Get back, get back. here so there is one last thing I need to do with the lift before I return it in the morning I, I got my Christmas light stuff done but the whole reason I got the lift the main reason was because I need to take my steel MS390 to the back of the place because there's a gate that I go through, especially when we get a lot of rain and there gets to be a lot of mud on the ground that I drive my tractor through. And right now I just got a new John Deere tractor. You guys just saw me putting out hay with it. New to me, it's not new. Um, but that tractor has a top on it and the top gets scratched up every time I go through this gate. So i sit that down. So I can't stand for that. Um, so I'm gonna go back here to the back of the place. We gotta shut this gate real quick and get that tree trimmed so I'm not scratching my tractor up every time I go through the gate. And so then, here is the gate I was talking about. This is a great place to drive in and out when there's a lot of weather, uh, when there's a lot of mud because the ground's really high right here. But when you look up, I can grab that limb and bring it down. So that hits my tractor. I got another one right here and so I'm going to use this. We're going to trim it up real quick. Should be much better. <laughs> So you can see a man lift makes quick work of uh, trimming trees. Look above that now. I have all kinds of space to drive my tractor through. I just gotta clear these limbs up and we are in good shape. All right, Ransom, what did we finish on the house? Christmas lights. All right, we're gonna end the video showing them the Christmas lights. What do you wanna tell them? Subscribe, hit that notification, and then give us a big thumbs up. All right, you heard Ransom. All right, thank you guys for watching. Here's the Christmas lights. I almost forgot, but I had to show them before we ended the video. Of course, at nighttime, you don't get a very good uh, impression of them, but they go all the way around on the other side of the house, and they're right up, up there. So we hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. And remember, Merry Christmas.